Welcome to the second part of our Blender tutorial. So we have our footage trimmed for tracking. Now let's open Blender. On the top uh, you can see different layout settings. So let's open VFX and motion tracking. Now in this panel we can open our footage. Hit open clip. You can use scroll to zoom in and zoom out and middle click to navigate. On the right side you can see resolution of footage and, and number of frames. We have to match a number of frames in our animation to, to this number. So let's select set scene frames and you can prefer to have smooth preview. Now it's more responsive. Before making uh, tracking points, we have to uh, change some settings in this panel. So let's make pattern size a little bit bigger and search size around 100 uh, pixels. Uh, match to previous frame, normalize. Tracking settings, uh, correlation to maybe 0 0.9 now you can zoom on your footage and find some uh, contrasting and clear points for tracking for example this this point is great and on the right side in track you can see preview of, of our points zoomed in Select around 20 or 40 points like this. Now hit A to select all points. Open track and track markers. It may take a while. Now you can see all the points and their movements on the graph. And in this case our graph looks very good, very clean. We don't have to delete anything at this moment. Uh, I will show you a preview of different graph with very shaky movement. But uh, we can leave it for now. We can go now to solve. Select keyframe, hit solve camera motion. Uh, sometimes it may take a couple minutes. On the right side you can see our solve error and now we have to delete some points because we have to get our solve error around one or below one pixel. In clip display you can uh, select info and you can see solve error of every point. Now select refine, focal length and solve camera motion again. We can uncheck keyframe for now. Open cleanup. And this tool will help us to filter out all the tracking points with error above selected number. So let's set error to 4. 
select, delete, solve camera motion again. As you can see, solve error is now 1.64. Now I, I will change error to free, select, delete, and solve camera motion again. I will do this couple times to get solve error below one pixel. We have already solve error one pixel and 0 0.95, perfect. In next step, we have to set our footage as background in Blender camera and set up tracking scene and to align our points to the ground select three points and in orientation hit floor uh, we can rescale our camera select camera properties viewport display and size now it looks much better uh, you can rotate camera select camera and hit R on the keyboard so motion tracking is finished now let's set some other settings uh, remember to use the same uh, resolution of our scene as in the footage and frame rate in this case 25 frames per second for preview we can add some uh, object for example monkey and our motion tracking looks great already remember to set uh, your GPU as default uh, render device to do this open edit preferences system and here are the settings I uh, will be using one add-on so let's open add-ons and in search box type self fracture select to activate and that's all for today see you in the next chapter